Hello, Internet. It is I, Hewlett, with another update for you. Another terribly remiss update. I should just start calling these the remiss updates because between each one of these postings, each video that I put on YouTube, between each one of them is a world of guilt and self-doubt and, 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 and bashing myself for not doing more of these. I wanted, I wanted to do these on a more regular basis, and I guess I have fun doing them so they get, they get put off. I'll have the fun later, and they never happen, which is my own lesson coming back to bite me in the behind. Um, I've been away for like three weeks in a place that I love, which I shouldn't. I've been in Australia for like three weeks and, uh, well, two and a half weeks. Uh, last little bit was in Santa Monica, another place I love. But um, Australia, Australia's the weirdest thing. Like, it's a place I actually feel almost homesick for, despite the fact that it's filled with creatures and insects and spiders that want to, you know, bite me or sting me or eat me. And, and that would normally repel me from a, from a continent. But it turns out I, I just, I love it. I don't know whether it's the people or the, just this majestic gorgeousness that is Australia. I, you know, or the, the excitement of the cities and, and, the, and the, the, the peculiarness of the people. Um, I, you know, it's just, they're just, it's just a wonderfully different place um, than I'm used to. And I love it, and I feel like at home there, and I feel like in a parallel universe. I, I surely one of me in a parallel universe somewhere is living in Australia because I just I loved it. Any opportunity we get to go, we go. I took the Bratlet this time, and my wife Jane, and we just had the most god magical time. Like uh, we did Oz Comic Con. I have to thank so much. Thank you, Oz Comic Con, for. Inviting us, getting us out there, um, uh, to the volunteers, to the people who showed up, to the thousands and thousands of people who showed up. It was just incredible and wildly flattering. And I got to meet the most amazing guests. I spent a whole lot of time talking to comic book guys. I am so enamored with that world again. Um, well, I always have been, but it's just sort of fun to be in the thick of it, you know, talking to... Um, to you know Scott from from uh, uh, from Dark Horse or uh, or God or Mark Mark you know I got uh, one of one of you guys I don't know who it is maybe you should comment let me know who gave me this because I you know Mad Max Fury Road uh, uh, was it Mark Sexton Mark Mark is just this amazing guy with an amazing story about working with George Miller and and this comic book I'm going to say it again this, buy this comic book it's it's uh, it's extraordinary I know there's been some some controversy over it I am fully in favor of of what Mark's done with it I love Love it, uh, sort of a prequel to the Mad Max stuff. Not even a prequel, just just backstory for all these amazing characters and things. I'm mean, just it's such a rich, a rich world to draw from, and they've done a, just an, an amazing, amazing job. And the, of course, the art is beautiful as well. Um, so just having an amazing time geeking out with comic book people, um, with Chris Holden Reed. Um, from uh, from Lost Girl and, of course, the lovely and talented Rachel Luttrell. Just seeing her again, being on stage with her, joking around, it's just been just, ah, just amazing. And then the kitten, I and Jane, we went down the, the coast. We spent way too much time in Byron Bay because I never wanted to leave. Um, extraordinary place. Loved Brisbane. Loved Sydney. Um, never wanted to leave. And then we split up the journey back because it's like 14 and a half hours and then a five-hour trip to from Los Angeles to uh, Toronto and... So we split it up by spending a few days in Santa Monica. Big mistake, because we used to live in Santa Monica, and now I miss Santa Monica as well. So, yeah, well done. I come home, my fan cave, I've done nothing to it. Nothing. It needs everything. Paint and things to be hung on the walls and stuff done, but I haven't done it because there's so many things to do. <sighs> Story of my life. Story of everyone's life, I think. But um, how do you deal with that stuff? Like, How do you get things done? How do you prioritize the stuff that you're doing? Because I don't seem to do that. Um... I have been working on Upgrade Required. I've been talking to Q. We've got a bunch of Geek and Dragons we're going to be doing. Um, i got a couple of Let's Plays for you guys to see. Oh, man. Toronto-based uh, uh, game designers have created this uh, game called uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Sebastian and I are addicted to it. We did a couple of Let's Plays just to show you what that game looks like. It's stunning and gorgeous. And I think even some of the guys at Mojang were loving it. Mojang! We ran into Mojang! We ran into Lydia Winters in L.A. Just happened to be staying at the same hotel. I just... This, I love those people, too. It's just been an amazing, amazing time away, and I just wanted to say hello again and uh, welcome back into the strange brain that is Hewlett. I am hoping to share more of it with you um, over, the, over the coming weeks. And um, until we geek again, cheerio!